was disabled at primary school, a teacher just recently told me whenever she'd ask the kids who wants to close the windows, so you had to climb up onto the, the desks, nobody put up their hand except for me. So I'd get up there with my calipers on and I'd get up and I'd close the windows. So primary school, I had no idea that I even had a dis disability. I thought that I was just like you guys. So that was beautiful. And then high school, about the age of 14, when everyone started to go to dances and um, being the only kid in a wheelchair at school, I think the boys didn't know whether I could dance or not. So I never actually got asked to dance at a high school dance. I have made up for lost time now, but <laughs> at that time, yeah, it did hurt me a lot actually. I'd always get myself all beautiful for the dance and, and go in there and, and wait uh, to be asked to dance. So I guess that was quite hard, but I was lucky because I, I was in the Paralympic world with lots of other boys in wheelchairs. That's when I started to feel like that I was pretty and I started to get attention and develop my own self-esteem. So I had to learn from a very young age mm. to find my own confidence within myself. I was never going to get it from the world. And that's the biggest mistake you can make in life is, is trying to get all your self-confidence and self-worth from others. You've got to find it yourself. And I just recently wrote myself a letter to my 16-year-old self for a newspaper. And I told myself, my 16-year-old self, I told myself that I was enough, just the way that I was, because I didn't really feel like that when I was 15 or, or 16. Mm. And I always tried to be so successful to make up for the fact that I had a disability, and that was a, a big mistake. So I am enough, and you are enough, just the way that you are. Mm -hmm.